Previously on Young Marvels. Maya, can I have you sing that song in a higher key? I wanted to find a way for it to work, and it didn't work. Oh, so. no, it wasn't working. Not for me. <laughs> oh, dear. Often, times an overburdening of the voice as a child can result in less left after the voice change. I see no danger to Clark what he's doing. If you use the voices appropriately and wisely, you'll be fine. Tonight on Young Marbles. Les dad has been gone in Russia for three months. And now he is coming home. Oh, finally! We need to start thinking about how she's going to go to college. Honestly, I'm not saving for college. I put my money in her bank. Her brain is my bank. I really love opera. It's like one big fairy tale. I don't want to fall or forget my steps. You know, you don't have to do this. I can't picture my life without playing the cello. I'm eight years old and I speak eight languages. My plan is to become a famous singer. My life is ballroom dancing. I will do everything to win. Matthew is a musician who happens to be blind, not a blind musician. If you don't push yourself like crazy, then you're not going to go anywhere. Так, что мы ставим в конце предложения? We have 12 teachers every week to pay. That means every week I'm spending about $1,400. It's very expensive. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. See you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, she has homework. We don't make a lot of money. My husband, he works two jobs as a parking attendant. Sometimes I cannot get her an ice cream cone after I pay her teachers because that comes first. I have my Russian teacher. Как дела? Хорошо. My Chinese teacher. I'm a boom. The Spanish teacher. Thank you. My Japanese and guitar teacher. My piano teacher. I have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of teachers. Daddy? Mm -hmm. I think I want to start learning Hindi and Italian. My hope for Mabu is unlimited. It's going to be a lot of money. I want to give the world to her, everything. But it's not easy, it's hard. I am in a situation where I, I work two jobs to make hand meat. It's very stressful. It's already hard enough for what we have right now. And she's keep asking for more and more and more and more. So therefore, we have to think about it and then decide what is possible, what is better for us to do. Because it's not usual to find a child asking for more education. I'm so happy and I'm so delighted to have a daughter like that. What happened? She wants to add more language. Seriously, let's, seriously. We cannot afford that. We cannot no, afford I can't. Asking. We need to start thinking about how she's going to go to college. We need to start put money aside for her. Honestly, I'm not saving for college. If she's an A student, I know she might be able to find a scholarship. So I put my money in her bank, which is her brain. She already has that money. So her brain is my bank. If I need a dollar, maybe I'll knock on Mabu's brain. <laughs> I'm gonna fix your hair and face and stuff. Tonight I will be performing at the Harold Washington Cultural Center, honoring the first black mayor of Chicago. All right, so you can head down that way to the stage. I'll walk down with you. There are going to be a lot of high profile people and a lot of politicians. So come around this, here's the stairs. You just go on up to there. Obama is a Chicago politician, and hopefully it'll lead to something where they'll 
tell the president about me and say, you know what, you need to have this little girl at the White House and sing. That would be awesome. I'm singing he's got the whole world in his hands. But I'm stressed because I had to learn it in a totally different key. Cause my mom said it sounded off. Okay. I'm always honest with Maya. And sometimes she gets sad and then I start feeling bad. But at the same time, I feel I have to be honest at all times. Just like I praise her, I have to be honest to tell her when that wasn't right. I mean, she actually sounded good if she were singing and I joke about this, but I'm serious. If it were for a funeral or a funeral procession, but this is a joyous occasion. So you have to feed into the occasion that it is. Mm -hmm. Why don't you just leave it like it was? Because it didn't look like Maya. It looks a mess. Okay, so let me hear it again. It is Stop, you're beautiful, but I need you to enunciate. It's time that we need to prepare for our daddy, okay? Now, he will be, I think, 10, 10 15 minutes. Less dad uh, has been gone in Russia for three months for working. Oh, finally! <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen my dad so long that I am on the seventh cloud. Yes! And I really want to see him. <laughs> oh, oh, yes! Yellow. Ну-ка, покажи, какие у тебя маслс. Ну-ка. Не, не давай мне мороженое, ты покажи. Не, ну, 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 обе. Ну-ка, отрыги. Перо. На танцах какой? Мы когда смотрели тебя в Новосибирске, там очень много родни у тебя осталось. И все смотрели, мы все ночью вот смотрели там. И все это, кстати радовались твоим победам. Я так всегда переживаю. Я смотрю онлайн и всегда переживаю за тебя. Я думаю, что вот моя, так сказать, энергия, которую я смотрю, все она передается через океан и попадает к тебе прям в сердце. Уходит в ноги, и поэтому ты очень хорошо танцуешь. Ever since Matthew was born, we've been two peas in a pod. I just wanted to come home and surprise him. Hi, Matthew. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Can I have a hug? I miss you, man. I, I love my big sister. Ali is, she's my best friend. I actually wrote a song for her. Really going places. I need to do a, a great job because you never know who's watching. Maya! Maya! <laughs> He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his it's going to be really scary performing in front of all the politicians and high profile people there but i practiced over and over again if my mom like wants to show me um something that i did wrong 
I take it and I try to make it better. We're going to introduce this young lady who is just a phenomenal talent. She works so hard um, for me to fulfill my dreams, and I just don't want to let her down. Maya is an incredible 12 year old. She's a performer, she's a self taught musical prodigy. Maya! satisfied myself, I satisfied the people, and I satisfied my mom. I appreciate her input, I appreciate that she tells me the truth, not like other moms. I am on cloud 999,000. <laughs> I am a jazz vocalist myself, and I thought she was just phenomenal. She just took my breath away. I think she could go way to the top, and it's almost like Mahalia Jackson has been reborn. She's an old soul with a blessed, blessed voice. She has such a nice little quiet, sweet voice, and then that voice, when it started, she started to sing, I was like, oh! You did a great job. Matthew is the baby of the family. He has an older sister, Allison, who's away at college. They're so close and have a beautiful relationship. If he's having a tough day, he says, I wish Ali was here, I wish my sister was here, because he looks to her for comfort. You know, she's really good with him. I haven't been home in about four months. So tonight, I just wanted to come home and surprise him. Matthew is like my world, honestly. Ever since he was born, hold on. So ever since Matthew was born, he's been two peas in a pod. She's my best friend. I actually wrote a song for her. I started tearing up because nobody knows how small he was. And just to see him be at a piano, sitting there playing a song that he wrote for me, was very touching. It was good. It just feels good to have her back. It feels a little bit long way without her. Yeah. <laughs> just a little bit. A little bit. Or very much. Okay, very much. <laughs> when Matt was born, Allison was in second grade, and when he came home, he was still very tiny. And we were overprotective, you know, because he was, you know, so premature. Okay, ready? No, I'm not ready. You ready? No. So we had to explain to her, you can't hold the baby. 
and we would go into like the room and find her holding the baby and she never treated him with fear. She was just very motherly, very nurturing. Just handled him like even better than me. No. <laughs> I'm not different like, from anyone else. The only, the only difference is that I can't see and they can see. That's the only difference. How is he working? Coming up. We're gonna make a movie of your vocal cords vibrating while the sound is there. We're gonna see how are you doing. We may see something unusual, we may not. Now here's where your vocal cords are, and you do have some swelling in the center of the vocal cords. That's what this here and this here is. A discrete swelling here and over here, and that comes from a fair amount of voice use. We have a couple things here. Definitely my first time coming across an eight-year-old boy that is so concerned with his look. It was very special that my dad went shopping with me. I wish my dad could be here for everything. Tough couple of weeks rehearsing act practically every single day uh, at night from 6 to 8 30, 9 o'clock. It is possible to damage one's vocal cords by overburdening the instrument, whether that comes from screaming or from potentially undertaking a vocal repertoire which is not meant for a child's instrument. I'm very protective over Clark's voice, so today I'm taking Clark to the best specialist in Boston, uh, ear and uh, throat doctor, and he, we're gonna check Clark's vocal cords. Wait, Mom, so what's gonna be happening at the doctor's appointment today? I just want to make sure that your vocal cords are not strained. Okay. They're going to put some uh, scope in your uh, throat, and then we'll see on the computer what your vocal cords look like. Hi, Mark. So, we're going to look at your vocal cords. Okay. Has anybody ever seen them? I don't think so, no. <laughs> this is a first. All right. So let's just talk a little bit. This is a microphone, so when we take a look, we're going to record your voice. Okay. Let's begin with this. So, tell me, when did you start singing? Um, I started singing before I could even remember when I was, like, really little. My mom taught me how to sing. She's a former musician. Great. And do you find, or have you ever lost your voice? I mean, did you ever sing so much that you said, Mom, you know, it's, I'm not making a real good sound, or has it just been um, very solid? It's been mostly smooth sailing for me. I mean, even when my, I'm sick, my teacher, I have a really good teacher. He does special warm-ups with me. We're going to see how are you doing. I don't know what we're going to see. We may see something unusual, we may not. It's just a light, so I'm going to be able to look down on your vocal cords. Clear your throat. <clears> throat> Go ahead and sing something. I am a man of widespread fame, and Bob again is my name to tell you all in simple words. Let me just take one final look. Breathe. Now here's where your vocal cords are, and you do have some swelling in the center of the vocal cords. That's what this here and this here is. A discrete swelling here and over here, and that comes from a fair amount of voice use. What we don't know is how many children have them anyway, because nobody looks at all children. I don't necessarily know that that's from the singing. I think it should be monitored. Mm -hmm. And what usually is the causation for the song? A lot of use. A lot of use? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're going to come back for your follow-up visit, right? All right. Nice to meet you. And I think some of the things that a, a young child should really pay attention to is, are they uncomfortable? Do they feel like they're pushing? I'm very comforted by the fact his mom is is a trained musician, so she's going to hear aberrations pretty quickly, which is what I think that between the two of them and their close relationship, I think they'll be able to manage it. Very nice. Star. We came into the store to look up costumes for me, not to wear the same old black and white maybe uh, anything color with car bright yeah. 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 we have a couple of things here um, some bright t-shirts oh, wow a couple of button down shirts with fun ties we could yeah. try some stuff on if you'd like to yeah do you have a favorite color blue, blue? it's pretty
pretty common with little girls being so excited about costumes, but um, it's definitely my first time coming across an eight-year-old boy that is so concerned with his look and his presentation. I was very impressed. Yeah. I really like to dance in colorful costumes because it makes me feel more noticeable. Will you give me like one of your best moves? Yeah. I like that one. I'm so happy to be together with family. It was very special that my dad is in shock with me. It makes me sad because I wish my dad could be here for everything. Next time on Young Marbles. I just invited my good friend Cheryl Burke from Dancing with the Stars. I'm here to surprise eight-year-old love. He has no idea that I'm coming. I love Vermont, but I think it's worth it to go to New York and pursue my dreams. Are we going to actually relocate as a family? We're at this, the edge of this decision. So this is my first original song. It's called It's a Travesty. Children, the crowd, the crowd for I'm kind of nervous, but I'm also kind of excited. I'm not sure how people will respond, but I'm hoping it will be like tears in the audience. So was it good? I was okay. Okay. If I had Julia Chase tomorrow, I would not be okay playing this piece. <laughs>